Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, IGSS. This is lesson 17, IGSS Maintenance. The maintenance module in IGSS is a module that allows staff to create maintenance jobs to ensure timely maintenance on the process components, and to show maintenance alarms or reminders in the alarm list to ensure that the staff will perform the maintenance job on time. The maintenance module in IGSS is included in the standard version, so there are no extra costs involved in implementing preventive maintenance in IGSS. Let's take a closer look at the module. First, we will start up the IGSS master, which is the control center of IGSS. And we can see that the um, project is starting up. This is the demo project that comes with IGSS. The first two modules that appear are the supervised module and the alarm list. Let's uh, minimize them. And then we take a look at the master where we have the home ribbon where you can start and stop the project. And you can start the individual applications here. And here we have the maintenance module. We click on the icon. Maintenance appears. And we can see that there are two uh, different ribbons. There's the job handler ribbon for the end user and there's the configuration tab for the system designer. Now let's create a job. On the configuration tab we click on the new job icon. We can choose for example a used time job which means that we are counting the hours of operation of a pump, for example. Um, periodical job means that uh, you have a fixed maintenance interval. Changes maintenance means that you're counting the number of state changes for a digital object. So after 1,000 changes, for example, you want to do maintenance. Finally, we have counter maintenance, which is um, a maintenance type uh, that counts uh, values and uh, when a specific counter is exceeded or a specific value of an analog object then maintenance is due. Now let's choose a digital object for the use time maintenance that we want to do. Let's choose P1 pump water and we click OK and we get a new use time job for P1. Now, first of all, we have the title field. We can, of course, put in a title here directly in the dialog box. But what many of our customers will do is that they will link an alarm text to this maintenance job, allowing the end user to see the maintenance job both in the maintenance list and in the alarm list. So the linking is done here, alarm fired when job is due. We go down, we select the very last one, 7000, calibrate pump. This is an alarm text that I've done in definition. Um, and I can click on use alarm text to insert that same text in the title field. So now we have the same name in the maintenance list and in the alarm list. Okay, let's set up the job. Now let's say that we want to calibrate after two minutes just to you know provoke it immediately um, and we only want to count when the pump is on when it is running so it's actually hours of operation that we're counting here and after those two minutes we can reset the accumulated value to zero so that is when the job has been completed by the end user we can reset it to zero or we can tell the system to add a number of minutes. So we could, for example, say that the next job after the two minutes is actually after a thousand minutes. And that next job after interval will be the interval that will be valid until you change it in this dialog box. Right? Um, if we go down to the bottom of the dialog, you can see the job description tab. This is where we write a textual description to the end user. 
So if you call this text file calibrate pump.txt, this is a text file that will be saved in the report folder of your project. And this is where we can write uh, the calibrator is found in building A121. So that's the instruction to the operator which will be saved in the text file. Another option you have is to link in an electronic manual that tells the end user how to do the maintenance that he's supposed to do. So if you go to the file tab you can browse and you can find the manual that includes the um, maintenance instructions. In this example I'll just choose a PDF file, so I choose this filter first and I go under Program Files 7T, IGSS 32, version 9, GSS, ENG, and I choose Quick Start, for example. So that's an example of a manual, and that manual we can view immediately by just clicking the View button. Right. Um, that's it you've done a maintenance job. We can click OK. And uh, now we can see that it is actually uh, inserted here in the maintenance list. Um, it is still on 0% because we've just activated it. Uh, but it will, it will be triggered uh, pretty quickly because we only need uh, a couple of uh, minutes uh, running mode. Then we are, um, the, the maintenance is due. Right. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at the job handler tab because this is where the end user will handle the maintenance alarms. First of all, let's uh, take one of the alarms that are active right now or due right now. We can take uh, this one for example and uh, we can see that it's uh, on 100%. Uh, we need to acknowledge it first so we can click on the acknowledge button and we can see that the text pending indicates that the acknowledgement time is coming up now so we get a timestamp in this column um, when we have acknowledged or when the end user has acknowledged an alarm he needs to do the physical maintenance and uh, when the maintenance has been done he will come back to the maintenance list and he can select the alarm again and he can click on the complete button and then a new interval begins. So in the example with our two minutes uh, that first complete will be after two minutes and the second one will be after 1002 minutes actually. So that's, uh, that's it. Uh, another function here in the, uh, on the job handle tab is that uh, the operator can actually choose the uh, maintenance object uh, here and then he can click on find in supervise and he will be guided directly to the mimic diagram where the object is located. Okay, now we put in some descriptions uh, to the operator. We can select the job here and we can click on view description to view what we wrote to him. The calibrator is found in building A121. Yes. And the other thing we did was we also put in a link view job file. Click here and we get the PDF file that we requested. Right. Um, that's it for the maintenance list. It's very very easy to use and um, you're also able to do filters at this level on this um, if you click here uh, on maintenance jobs due you can put in a filter uh, on, on the maintenance jobs. The final thing I want to show you is that uh, if you click on the maintenance list we can see that there is an icon here. This is the maintenance icon. right? The maintenance icon is here the job is here and the operator can from the main, from the alarm list 
he can also acknowledge a maintenance job but he can never complete it from here that he has to do from the maintenance list and finally you can also show the information we put in by clicking show maintenance job like this and that will lead him to the maintenance list where he gets the information that's it for maintenance this was a quick overview uh, for further information please go to our website www.igss.com for presentations exercises and further user documentation thank you for listening